Welcome to iLecture Online. Knowing how to draw planes in three dimensions sometimes comes in handy. So how do we do that? Well, let's take our equation that we've seen before of a plane that says 3x plus 2y plus z equals 7. So we're going to graph that in a three-dimensional space. To do that, you're going to take two of the three variables at a time, and there's three of those combinations, and set them equal to zero. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to let x equals 0 and y equals 0. What is that? Well, that's a plane when x equals 0 and y equals 0. Well, not a plane. That's where they meet at the origin, and then we want to find the equivalent z value at that particular case where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So when we plug that into the equation, we get 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 plus z equals 7, or simply z is equal to 7. So when x and y are equal to 0, then z is equal to 7. So that's on the z-axis right there. So that's the point 0, 0, 7. Okay, we'll do the same, but now we're going to let y equal 0, and how about z equal 0? That means we have 3 times x plus 2 times 0 plus 0 equals 7, or 3x is equal to 7, or x is equal to 7 over 3, which is slightly over 2. So we find that point right here, that would be right about there. And so that's the point. We have 7 thirds, 0, and 0. Okay, now we do it again. We're going to let x equals 0 and z equals 0. So there's three possible combinations. So when we do that, we get 3 times 0 plus 2 times y plus 0 equals 7, or 2y is equal to 7, or y is equal to 3.5. And we find that point on the line right here. When x and z equal to 0, we're at 3.5 there. And so that's the point 0, 3.5, and 0. Now, we have those three points, one on the z-axis, one on the x-axis, one on the y-axis. If we now connect those with lines, this, like this, and like this, we get the sense of a piece of that plane. You can see how the plane is angled like this, cuts through the z-axis like this, goes out this way, and of course in all directions. So you can see that the origin is on the other side of the plane and that the plane kind of angles this way, all the way out here, all the way back there, and all the way over here. And that is the best way to kind of visualize what a plane looks like in three dimensions by using this technique.